Hello, hens. How are we all diddly doing? How's everybody holding up? Sorry if the echo is a little bit bad in here. I'm currently moving houses. I have a green screen up and blankets up in the room to try and distract away from the echo. But it's a fun reason why it's echoey because I am in the middle of moving houses. If anybody <laughs> didn't know, my build is a dick. Or my ex-builder. We broke up. Like he actually butchered my house really fucking badly. And like to the point that it could have killed me. Like he blocked off the gas thing. So the gas could have just like come back in the house and killed me if I would have just kept him on as the builder. And I could have died guys but i'm manifesting and i am doing positive affirmations of things will work out because things always work out for me because i am a lucky lucky girl things always work out for me but anyway funnily enough that we should say that because i'm also going to be using this to actually design my house i do wish he hadn't fucked me over though but you know what glad he fucked me over enough to for him actually be fired because if he'd fucked me over like a little bit and i hadn't have noticed anything and that gas thing could have killed me oh when is it when i just <laughs> Adjust. I uh, got therapy for that. I'm going to be moving into the new house, obviously, but when I say that I'm, I'm going to be moving into it, I mean that me and my mum are like working our fucking asses off right now to just make it livable, like a livable space. I'm not going to move in and it's going to be decorated, you know what I mean? It's just going to be bare, pretty much. Because of that, I haven't... Oh my God, why is it literally so rainy right now? I haven't really put any thought into how I want anything. Well, I have, but like I haven't... If I think about something, then I'm like, no, just leave that now and that's going to be a future thing. Because also, guys, I, I don't know what it is right now, but I believe that I can do anything I set my mind to, guys. I don't know why I'm like like having this positive streak right now but if it's working for me it's working for me but i believe that i can do anything that i set my mind to so for some reason i think that i am like a construction goddess like i think that i could buy some two befores and just make anything of it and do you know what it is it's tiktok like i watch so many women doing things and i'm like yeah you know what maybe i could do the things guys maybe i could do the things this actually did end up being true i did actually do the things i framed my entire window with pvc and then a wood frame around the edge of it and i also laid all of the skirt in, in my bathroom but i was cutting at an angle and everything babe i was been using a jigsaw i've been using a miter saw i'm really good I've always wanted a really dark and moody space, right? But then also, there's a lot of natural light in my house. Now that I've actually like seen it and stuff like that, I, I kind of want it to feel light, do you know what I mean? As much as I love the dark and moody aesthetic. I also think that in my new office, my granddad, who passed away last year, honestly, like going through every fucking stage of grief in this video, babe, we've hit every emotion so far. But uh, I'm going to hang his guitars in the backdrop of my videos because when wherever he went, like Dr. Spence or anything, anything, he used to be like, <clears throat> and how many subscribers has Jessica got now? Like he was always so proud of me with YouTube. So I I think it would make him so happy to have his guitars in the background of my new new uh thingy but he would love that so that's just a little update on my life things are really busy right now but also i'm trying not to be too stressed about it because as busy as things are i'm also making such great memories with my mom okay so this is my house guys welcome to plumbella's at home this is not a new build by the way i know a couple of people thought that it was a built a new build like built from the ground up it was in fact not i just had my bedroom made out of the loft imagine this is actually a loft does that make sense but you, obviously you can't have proper lofts in the sims 4 so these aren't full walls these are like loft walls so this was the house before just imagine like a bedroom here and then i have knocked that wall down and then added my bedroom and an office into the loft i'm not gonna have children so i don't need to worry about children i do however have pets again on with this thing of like i believe that i can do anything after watching a couple of tiktoks and i really do believe it because have you seen the kbs pets cat towers personally i think my boys would absolutely love them salem especially loves a good sleep and i think that salem would absolutely love to just have a little lie down on that but i'm looking at it and i'm like mm, i could make you you know i could make you this is my kitchen i decided to go for a black kitchen i think i already mentioned this but i really wanted a green kitchen but i thought a green kitchen is so stunningly beautiful but also will i get sick of green in like a year do you know what i mean where i do consistently quite like a dark kitchen so yeah i went for a dark kitchen i also wouldn't be in this position without you guys so i want to be able to share it with you i think i will have a table just a small table though because realistically the only people that are going to use this table is me my mom and my sister and you know what i would say potentially the kids but the kids are absolutely fucking feral and the kids will be will sit at a table when forced you know what i mean but the kids are like the kids genuinely there's a pallet in my back garden right and it's like just a wooden pallet and jackson thinks that it's his his personal climbing frame then someone got put on there because it's just like a rubbish tip at the minute and he's like oh, excuse me i can't believe that literally you would put a door on top of my climbing frame can you move that please and they thought when it had scaffolding on it that they thought that that was their personal climbing frame to access the roof obviously they were not allowed access to the roof because i couldn't trust them to wipe their own ass never mind having access to a roof do you know what i mean that's a joke i could trust them but one thing I've been really into is obviously I have a bit more, bit of a more vintage style, which works perfectly for me because the thing is you can get really expensive vintage items, you know what I mean? But then you also have vintage items that look a bit banged up as well. And I really like the vintage items that look a bit banged up. Like that is my 
jam on toast if you will i found that facebook marketplace is a really good place to find that kind of thing like i have a writing bureau there which was 30 pound and then i have a really ornate writing bureau which it was 40 pound and then i also have this huge like i don't, I don't even know what you call it like a there is one already in in the game it's from jungle adventure i can't find oh it's like this it looks like this and it was 40 pound honestly i was gonna say if you have an, like a vintage style but also genuinely just if you have any style definitely look on facebook marketplace because the stuff that you can come across on there is really good one man's trash is another man's treasure you know what i mean guys i think i'm gonna put a fake fireplace there this is just me planning i'm gonna put the furniture items that i already own and then kind of decorate with that that's a complete lie because i don't have a fireplace i don't have that table and chairs i do have a city though and i do have a console table but this is going to be like my vision right i've been looking at things i look a lot at things one thing about me guys i'm so autistic in the way that once i set my mind on something i have to know every single thing about it because i was thinking about the samsung frame tv and then i'm like well i can't just because i like the aesthetics of it like imagine just a picture of mr darcy on that samsung frame tv like on 24 7 i do also have a huge frame picture of mr darcy guys i'm back on my pride and prejudice right i've watched it three times in the last Dare. So I was looking at the Samsung Frame TV and it said that the interface, like to actually navigate it is a no-go. And I was like, do you know what? For that much money, I would want a fucking seamless interface. And I am a bit of a nerd, like a tech nerd kind of thing. Like I really appreciate good tech. So that would just piss me off. So I thought, do you know what? No. Samsung frame, not it for me. I was also intrigued. I wouldn't have bought it, but I was really intrigued by the, the TV, not the TV, the fridge that has like a panel in it, like an LED panel. And I was like, why would you need that? Like, what are people getting out of this? So then I sat and researched that fucking panel for ages. And apparently it breaks all the time. People say, don't trust Samsung for anything other than phones. The drama of it all, guys. Listen, this stuff you find out when you start researching everything. And then I also was researching OLED and QLED TVs. And apparently QLED TVs are like the top things on the market right now. They are absolutely amazing because they, they don't use black light as to get blacks. They just use like no light, like the absence of light, which was interesting. I was like, you know what? It was really interesting to me, guys. What I'm looking for werewolves because I want a picture of Mr. Dorsey. But apparently QLED TVs are good if you have light in them. And obviously I have a window right here. And if everything just please don't put that window. Please don't put your TV. Like the, the glare through that. I would literally draw the curtains. One thing about me, I cannot. Like, say my say was here and the TV was there, which logistically does make more sense. I'm aware of the facts, but it would, I would not be able to watch TV with light coming in from there. Like, it genuinely pains me. So I would rather shut the curtains. Oh, well, I suppose I could shut the curtains that way, you know what I mean? No, because I don't like blackout curtains. So that's all that one, guys. This actually really helped me because I have a blue city that I absolutely love and I really do like it. But I'm like, what colours go with blue? And also, how do you decorate a living room, guys? Like, you know how much I stress when I'm doing Sims videos where I'm like, oh my god, this is literally killing me, and then everything works out in the end. This is how I'm feeling right now. But yes, imagine how stressed I am. Like, imagine how much I overthink every single thing. Oh, guys, I don't know. I'm fucking lost already actually it's happening to me but i really like wallpaper and i don't just want it to be a not very colorful home do you know what i mean like i don't think i'd do something like this as much as i do enjoy this wallpaper in game and i want my living room to seem calm does that make sense guys honestly if anybody else has experience in this i would greatly appreciate it because i've never had to do this before because <laughs> i would want wallpaper in my living room but i would want it to be calm whereas like something like this is really pretty but i think this may work out better for my bedroom that's a vibe got a vibe but even stuff like that i'm like i would feel like that's too busy in my living room because all i want to do in my living room right i'm a big cooker i love to cook and i want to be able to just cook and then come over here with a lamp on there'll be a lamp somewhere eat my tea and then after i've ate my tea i just want to sit in front of the tv and play witcher this is one big info dump and i do apologize about that but it makes me feel good <laughs> i enjoy info dump but apparently i got lino in all of my rooms because laminate is really fucking expensive i got carpet in my office and my bedroom because i hate waking up and put my feet on something cold and i got carpet in my bedroom obviously because i record a lot but i got lino for the rest of it because honestly yeah laminate is really fucking expensive and i also hate the feel of laminate because it's really cold and i do not like cold things on my feet and lino just it has that touch of warmth and it was a lot cheaper i'm really trying not to say that i'm really stressed out over this you know what the, the actual like renovation despite the fact that my builder tried to <gasps> me fine don't feel that stressed about, out about it at all this theoretical build where i'm just trying to pick a fucking wallpaper for my house honestly guys this is hard i might just do something like that that could look quite cute and also this is really in right now which stresses me because i don't want something in not that like i think i'm too cool for something in or something i don't want to have to redecorate but also this is pretty timeless isn't it it's cozy i like a cozy house i'm just going to do everything white because that's what it's going to look like but yeah i really like a, a cozy house this this house is rented i rent this is the first of a house that i rented i have absolutely lovely landlords and i'm gonna say i'm really sad to be single by them like it kind of i'm as excited as i am it also kind of breaks my heart because i'm like because they were really good i've been really lucky i'm just fucking info dumping again oh that was my point as well really used to small spaces this house is a rented house and this was like this this feels like a, a huge space to me this this rented house is like a semi-detached 
house size two bedrooms box bedroom if you're from the uk you'll know what size i'm on about so this feels huge to me because growing up there was like eight of us in a three bedroom bungalow this type of space like this cozy vibe is really my speed it feels like home to me so i'm really excited to be home oh my god that's a fucking big plant you know what i'm not going to sit and decorate these worktops because i know that in the sims we love to sit and decorate worktops like there's no tomorrow i really do know that but in real life i fucking hate having things on my worktop i'm very much a, a take energy from things around me and having anything on my worktops will absolutely piss me off so this house will not be cluttered she will be nothing of the sort she will have no clutter on it my sister goes a step too far i'm gonna be honest and tell you something really horrific guys my sister keeps a toaster in a cupboard I think that's a bit too far. She really got mishinched. Oh no, I'm getting upset now because imagine, imagine that the kids made me something at school. I don't have kids, by the way, if anybody is watching this, like what fucking kids, Jessica? My sister's children. I have two nephews and one niece on my sister's side and then on my brother's side, I have two nieces. I'm a big family oriented simmer. I kind of just want like little panels like that i know that we have a top for that and then i'll just put them over there and then you can just pretend that like you can drag them across and stuff that's quite cute but i think that's right for me there's a lot of things that i like that i just make a lot of people go no one of them is i don't like full blackout curtains specifically get ready for this guys in my bedroom i like waking up with the sun hitting me it just makes me feel ready for the day i think i am unfortunately a morning person i just fucking hate waking up on a morning that's the thing i don't know why the world curses me with shit like this because i am a morning person but I fucking hate mornings same as like i thrive on a routine a routine is so 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 good for me it benefits me so much yet my body can't stick to one it's a sick joke or sleeping i feel so refreshed and i love getting a full night's sleep it's so perfect to me but my body really struggles to fall asleep it's just sick i have a lot of old pictures too i think i'm gonna go show you one does this or does this not look haunted it looks haunted and that is exactly the type of vibe that I want for my house. If it looks haunted, I want it, which is great for me because I can find things really cheaply at charity shops. And, oh my God, it looks like she is speaking in the microphone. What have you got to say, Bonita? Tell the world your story. But yeah, she was from a charity shop and she was cheap as chips. And look at her. Look at her. She's blooming. That's a Pride and Prejudice quote. Also, my granddad who passed away was a watercolor artist. Not by trade, just like a, a hobby. By trade, he was a bus driver. He'd done something to do with the mines or steel. Like he'd done something like a cork thing, which is... Or was it slag thing? Excess steel. I don't know. He does something like that, but he was also a really good watercolor artist. And we have some paintings that he drew for us. So I'm going to hang some paintings in my house as well. And I'm really excited to see them up. I'm so excited for this house because I can't wait to see my family in it. Because I want the kids to... to feel like this is their space too. I'm going to get the kids keys printed. And this is going to be my sanctuary. And also guys, let me know if this is excessive. Just... Just, just let me know because I personally don't think it's excessive, but also I feel like I might need an outside opinion with this. Would it be okay to put a fence like in front of my front door with a gated padlock on it with like a, a like a coat? But where could that even be put in? Or would that be like, I don't even know if that's a feasible idea. Basically, I just don't want anyone coming to my house because no matter how much I put contactless delivery only, people still knock on the door, which I understand. I understand. I would just rather have no access to my front door other than me and my family. I would have like a parcel box is that ridiculous it sounds like it could be a bit ridiculous looking at it but also this is my sanctuary do you know what i mean no one's coming in no one's coming out my nephew said to my sister the other day why does Santi sassy never leave the house <laughs> got anxiety babe i did actually try to leave the house recently we've finished downstairs now this is looking yeah i'm happy with that i feel yeah it's cozy space which is exactly what i want but yeah i did try and leave the, ha the house the other day it did not go very well me and my friends booked to go see something in like 2020 and then it kept being pushed back and pushed back and pushed back and then push back like my social anxiety has got so fucking bad i wish it wasn't but unfortunately it, it it just is really bad at the minute i was like oh my god i was like fucking shaking getting ready it's so ridiculous like i think it's i don't know i'm scheduled for therapy so i'm definitely gonna go for it in therapy because it's actually like it is actually limiting my life now <laughs> i said i'm like guys is it appropriate to have nobody come into my house and put a fence in front of my house but like it really does like fucking fill me with fear and i know that it's not rational and i know that there's nothing to be scared of and stuff like that but like the thing is my head just isn't rational as much as there's like two sides to me there's one side that's like completely rational and it's like yeah everything's gonna be fine and then there's the other completely irrational side they fight but apparently that's quite an ocd thing because when ocd got brought up to me recently it made a lot of sense but anyway yeah so i tried to go out i was shaking the entire time but i thought you know what i would feel bad i can either feel bad at home without even trying or i can go and i might not be able to fucking do anything but at least i would have tried like i always think you would feel so much better trying and 
not being able to do it, then you would just not try it. Because I remember when, if anyone followed me back then in 2020, when my anxiety first hit, I remember that I would just cancel streams, like, and not be able to upload. And like, it would make me feel better in the moment. But then after it, I would just feel so horrific. And I've kind of learned through trial and error now that just canceling things and not even trying just kind of feeds into the anxiety and it only makes you feel better for like two seconds. So now I'm actually like really trying to push myself to do things that I might be afraid of. Even if I fail, that's okay, because at least I'm trying, you know. So I tried and I did fail, but you know what? I really tried. I didn't even get into the restaurant. Sorry, I'm just fucking setting the world to right to you right now. I'm just like giving you my entire life story. But before lockdown, like I never really unmasked my autism and I didn't really have to unmask my autism. Do you know what I mean? Like I was quite comfortable masking. And then in lockdown, I just didn't have to mask anymore. And then now I'm like, I really struggle to go back to that. And then I've also got the anxiety of these are really good friends. I've known them since I was about 11. We went to secondary school together. Also, they knew me before. So I always feel like I'm going to fall short in that aspect. Being a friend, I wind myself up about it a lot. And this sounds kind of sad, but like, this is just the reality of it. Do you know what I mean? Like I wind myself up about the fact that I can't be the type of person that I was before because I'm I wasn't that person before even though I was but I was masking so yeah I feel like I get really scared that I let people down but I tried do you know what I mean and I really fucking did try so that's all that matters I'm sorry for fucking spouting at you do you know what it is guys honestly because like stuff's moving so fast I haven't had time to sit down and record and usually like this is I would say probably the place that I feel most comfortable talking to you guys which is a good fucking thing this is what I do then isn't it otherwise I'd be fucked but yeah I haven't been able to just fucking sound off to you for a while I'm also coming back to streaming which is exciting and I am actually really excited for it obviously I've got to wait for everything to be finished and like it will I think it'll just be really fun because my friend's gonna start streaming too as well my online friend we actually it was our four year anniversary recently of knowing each other and we got to know each other by in like my early early streams when i was getting 20 viewers maybe i remember seeing the name in chat and i was like yeah i would like to be your friend and then we became friends which is honestly a fucking miracle because we're both so unsociable that like the fact that we became friends is 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 truly a miracle but they're gonna start streaming as well and i think that will be really fun and i'm really proud of them and i'm really excited to see what they do and i'm really excited for me to start streaming as well because I do really really miss streaming there's so many games that I want to play now because I only ever used to play the sims and the sims is absolutely great like I want to do sims challenges streaming on there I might edit them and upload them uh for YouTube as well as like an extra video a week but also I want to play the witcher and there's like so many games that I want to explore but with yous I'm excited honestly I think that's pretty much going to be my bedroom uh I might put a little Actually, I'm not going to put you on the wall. I might put a little side table in or something. I really like a quiet bedroom with no mess. You know what? For such a messy person, like I am, I find that I am naturally quite messy. I really can't stand not having a clear space. The juxtaposition, this is really quite intriguing, babe, but that, hey, that's just me. <laughs> I keep annoying my niece because I keep doing this voice where it's like, hey, hey. That's just me. <laughs> I don't know a secret about me. I hate all of the cat towers. In Honestly, in genuinely all of the Sims games, they've never done a good cat tower for me. Even the My First Pet stuff, which I hate the history of the My First Pet stuff, but some of the stuff is cute. You know what? I'm just going to... Oh my God. I'm literally just going to make my own just like IRL. The only reason I'm putting that there is so they can sit and scratch the sides, by the way, because my cats will be sleeping in a bed. You know, whether I wish that or not, it's their house. I'm just living in it. I don't even think I'm going to put a rug down because I don't want it to be too busy. I just need a quiet like a quiet empty space for to promote a quiet empty mind and then my office which i'm really excited about i've actually bought a stand-up sit-down desk which i am really excited about honestly guys because i am quite an energetic person like i do jump about a lot and shit like that which we all know since we, i fucking broke my ankles that one time because i was looking on ikea because i've got a, a desk top from ikea which is like 40 pound it's a two meters one and then i was like all right i'll look for bases for a stand-up sit down desk and the bases like the large bases were like 200 quid and i thought absolutely fucking not ike you're having a giraffe with that one babe i'm not paying that amount so i went on amazon and i got a uh, like the base of it separate because i i always need a separate base anyway because i have a two meter long desk so i bought the the base for cheap off amazon and then i bought the top for for cheap off ikea since working in my parents house as well because like me and isabella share a bedroom there my pc is like right next to my bed so i found that i can play pc games from my bed which is fucking fantastic and then now i'm like oh how am i going to be able to reconcile with the fact that i won't be able to play pc games from my bed and i was like do you know what i'm gonna have i'm gonna have a comfy reading chair that i can just drag up to there move that chair out the way because i love gaming chairs but like this isn't comfy when you're like like your head's like fuck, I don't, I don't know where to go do you know what i mean so if I have... Oh, Jesus, that's too high. Also, me and my friends have 
reading dates which is quite cute i know we're a quite a cute bunch where we just sit on mute and read a book together like not the same book at the same time like we just read whatever we're reading but we do it together so we feel like we're together we are long distance yeah is it, oh, i'm excited to have a comfy chair for that just imagine that this is hanging up on the wall things you know where you get like the basically like them things so yeah just ignore the stand that's just up on the wall my granddad's thingy and then i also need i've bought these like little shelf things off amazon not Amazon, off Ikea for 22 quid. I'm going to share it with you just in case you need this type of thing because I love consoles like i'm obsessed with old consoles i'm obsessed with old things in general so i have a nintendo gamecube ps1 ps2 and stuff like that and i use my capture card to be able to play them on on the pc i need something to store all of my consoles right next to my pc but i don't want like a big chunky thing so i got this from ikea it was 22 pound and i thought that would be the perfect size to have stuff like that there and also it doesn't take up too much space and it can fit right next to my desk as well so it's kind of hidden from view maybe it, maybe in shelving that could be a good replacement or even that if i size that down and i think i'm just gonna get roll blinds for there so i can just roll up and down easily if the sun's hitting my face okay that's quite cute honestly yes i'm gonna use my own pack for this because i want fun bright wallpaper in here i think i'm gonna do that but i actually think i'm gonna go for a green maybe i don't know i always thought i was gonna go for a green in this room but honestly the pink kind of she kind of slays i like it i was looking at this thingy of my office and i was like i just wish that there was a wallpaper in real life that looked like this one and then i was like you stupid fucking bitch just make one just paint it so i am gonna do that but i'm gonna do the green and pink color work because i think that'll be fun i really like green at the minute and that's how i can get the green in here's a photo of it and i'm excited for it it's gonna be past the pastel popification of my office i like it i like it a lot <laughs> thank you for coming on this journey with me sorry that i've basically just info dumped you and gave you a basically question and answer life update without you asking for it but i'm trying to be more positive because i always stop myself from talking about things like this because i'm like oh well nobody will give a shit so just stop it jessica but i'm trying to be like do you know what people you might be interested i'm always interested to know what the people i follow are up to so i thought i would share positive affirmations guys you know i'm gonna update you in like two months if the positive affirmations actually done anything uh because no one is as critical to themselves to no one is no one can be as critical to me as i am to me so i'm going to try and stop that because i deserve better wow these are really like a group therapy sessions guys honestly does anybody else <laughs> people don't even cut my channel for the fucking sims people come for the very free therapy session might start charging adjust it's me that's you're actually the therapist in this in this POB. Positive affirmations, guys. Do you know what I mean? At least my house didn't kill me and it very much could have done. And everything works out for me. I am actually feeling positive. I just kind of run out of words to say. <laughs> I love you all so, so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one. Bye, bitch.